Okay, rookie, welcome to training A1. Our goal will be to teach you techniques to deal with your opponent. Here we will deal with direct confrontation, tactics, methods of protecting your own ass, and attack. I'll show you everything in the simulation. In room B1, you have some targets in which you can practice your aim. There's exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there. During the shooting, your accuracy isn't the only important thing. You can practice it. To avoid the bullet, you must use cover. You can either hide behind it or take a risk and prepare yourself. This tutorial will teach you how to evaluate the effectiveness of the available shields, how to move between them, how to aim from behind them, and finally, how to shoot the enemy. As you go through the next steps of the training, you'll get short cues. Take your time, read each one, and show me what you got. So, shall we get started? Welcome to my humble abode. We don't often get visitors here. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out on the town. You can solve many situations without using a gun. Just do a little research and you might come across something like this. But let's start at the beginning. At this stage of the tutorial, we will talk about your equipment. Hold down inventory to access it. The pistol has a longer range and a larger capacity magazine. It's relatively easy to use. It still requires focus to hit the target. Shotgun. Heavy weapon. Maximum five shots. Then there's the stun gun. It can be useful to stun an enemy so we can cuff them, interrogate them, and not risk a shootout. To accomplish this, you must sneak up on your opponent, crouch. You move more slowly, but silently. However, you risk a bullet to the head. Great. Look through your equipment and come back to me. In your inventory, you will also find handcuffs. You can, you, you can then try to talk to him and try to get additional information. Not everyone's talkative, but some people open up with no problem after being... Did you understand everything? There are situations where an opponent can not only be tackled from behind, but also distracted or diverted. 
Now I'll give you some suggestions on what you can do to improve your chances. Sometimes turning a light or alarm off or on can get someone's attention. That's why it's a good idea to look around and surprise your opponent. Did you understand everything? I'm going to ask you now to watch the movement of this dude inside of the room. Then activate the alarm with the switch on the wall and see what happens. Now we're going to test your skills. Sneak up on our colleague and give him a little tap on the head with your nightstick. Just make sure he doesn't see you coming. Did you understand everything? Show me. Great. Half the work is done. Remember to handcuff your. Did you understand everything? Well done. It's a good idea to look around for clues at the scene. It could be any number of things. A lot of cash, guns, drugs. Did you understand everything? Well done. That's it from me. If there's any... Time to teach you what negotiation looks like. The rules are simple. During the operation, you collect clues. Circumstantial evidence gives you arguments you can use in negotiations. The more good hits you get, the better your chances of convincing your opponent. Did you understand? Now let me tell you some basic facts about the criminal. I'm Peter Fox. My girlfriend and I have been in a motorcycle gang called No Weakness for a few years now. I have a thick file. I've been written up several times for aggressive behavior and destruction of property. I have a rather good opinion among my neighbors, so you might think that I'm not making a fuss. This is bullshit. I'm a troublemaker, and that's the truth. I've also been arrested multiple times for drug possession. My best friend knows I don't do drugs, and if I have, it's only for sale. When they caught me, they looked at my hands and did a drug test too. And guess what? Clear. <laughs> the only reason they got their hands on me is because I was in a brawl of the garage. Somebody called, they came, and you already know a little bit. So what do you say? Shall we get started? Good. Let's get started. How do you know it's heroin? Did you try it? It depends on what I have a special deal for. You get the joke? Alright, alright. I was dealing, okay? That's all. Kids like this shit. And I like good money. Well, chosen an argument. Reliable information. Right away. Robbery. Big deal. You'd ask my neighbor what a good neighbor I am. Something or someone. Well chosen argument. Reliable. Alright, alright. I see you know what this is about. You talk me through it. Are you the new guy? The chief says you're as stubborn as a mule. Wait, what's your name? Price, right? Scott Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Apparently you wanted to move to us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? 
What, you're not gonna say? Okay, not really my business. There's a report, a fender bender or something. Check the system and get to work. I'm out of here, bye. Sir, I'm the one who reported our little accident. I was pulling out of the parking lot and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. No, come on. It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him, but you know, it's a waste of my nerves anyway, right? Sure, you got it. My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as... Yes, she was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around and... She was... I'm so sorry. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Yeah, they're going around for someone else to shoot. What? A girl? I don't know. No, I don't think I saw anything else. The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. If I move out of here, aren't they going to shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? I hate cops.
house? Quickly. I'm going to count to three. Ha! Good. I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit on the wall by the door. <sighs> Looks like you're saving my life. Thank you. I'm the store manager. The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? As you walked through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. Uh, yes, yes, there you go. Just be careful, huh? No, I I'm fine. I just don't know what they wanted. They came by, made a fuss. They didn't even touch the... Really, I'm fine. Thank you very much again. Jesus, finally. What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here- Yes, I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I- Wait, sir. I got it. I got it. Here you go, sir. I- j What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Good. Sure thing. Straight to the exit. What's the situation? Is it safe yet? Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> you make me laugh. Okay, I admit, I overreacted, but the girl got away, so I don't know. It's interesting from whom, as only... 
Man, what are you talking about? Doesn't it surprise you that we didn't take a dump? What? First you made me laugh, and now you pissed me off. You're a real... Thank you so much. I was so scared for her. I... Of course. You saved me. What happened out there? I don't think anybody's gonna... You know, not... Don't worry about it. Lucky I... Wait, wait, wait. I went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously, let it go. When you're done here, get your ass to the police station. 